Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. As the holidays draw closer and many of us are reaching deeper into our pockets to pull out money to pay for gifts, we may also be compromising our credit. That is so yes. true. And here to give us some tips on how to maximize our credit footprint or to get back on track with our credit. Because guess God. what? We want to make sure we all the way up in the 800s. We have <laughs> James Hunt. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Oh. How are you? Well, well thank you. He well, looks prosperous. Yes, yes, he does. Huh? <laughs> looks like his credit score is a city. I don't know. You know, but it's in there. Okay. Well, you, you are the financial advisor to all the stars. I mean, Lorenz Tate, uh, Cardi B, my God, Akon. I mean, you've you got some heavy yeah, hitters on your roster. It's about 300 celebrities. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. How, how, how did you come into this? And, and, and how did you get so successful with working with the celebrities? Well, I never really attempted to work with the celebrities. Mm. It just sort of like happened. Uh -huh. um, I just wanted to be successful at something. Mm -hmm. At one point, my life whole fell apart. About six years ago, my life fell apart, and the bottom of my life fell out, wow. and I lost everything. Mm. Wow. And I, I prayed to God, and I asked him not to give me money, but to give me the answer. Mm. Show me a problem, and then give me the answer. Yeah. And he gave me this business. It sort of like dropped it in my lap, I believe and that. I pursued it, and it's 20,000 plus clients later, 300 plus celebrities. Uh, a multi-million dollar company. It's That's a God amazing. Thing. It's yes. Wow. That's a God Absolutely. Thing. So you're like Solomon. I can take notes. <laughs> Yes, he has the wisdom and got it, amen? Yes. That's so good, though. Yes, now, people it is. say that, I mean, everybody says this, that cash is king, mm -hmm. but that's not what your testimony is. You say credit is king. Now, why do you say that? Because. Well, you know what? Wait a minute. It's actually working with the. So, I got a ton of NBA players and NFL players, and my NFL players and NBA players will call me, and they can't get a car. And they can't get a car. Ah. And they, and they can't get a house. And they have the money, they have the money but they, they, the score is not high enough, mm. and the score is bad, mm -hmm. and so the cash really isn't king wow. unless you're going to pay 100% of, of the house. Up front, mm -hmm. just Up front. Yeah. But you, you, everybody still has to uh, live by the three-digit score yeah. uh, and wow. what that FICO score is, and it determines everything. Really? So really, credit is king. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yes. So, so what, are, what are some things that we can do to make sure that our credit stays on the right track? I mean, other than the obvious of paying your bills on time, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. what, what are some other, maybe some secrets that we don't know that we're misinformed about? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's secrets, but I think that you have to be like proactive. Mm -hmm. So you have first, you need to know what your credit score is. That's mm -hmm. number one. And you need to know what is in your credit report. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you need to know all of the details of what's in your credit report. And almost like no matter how bad, if something is in there, that's negative doesn't mean that it, it has to stay negative. You have to know how to pursue it, and if you don't know how to address it, hire someone who knows how to address it. Okay. J James, what are some of the, the, the mistakes, the common mistakes that people make when it comes down to their credit? Um, well, I think that first, overextending themselves uh -huh. with credit, mm -hmm. max getting the credit cards and maxing the credit cards mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. um, they, most people are not aware that if you spend over 30% of your available credit, you start to tank your credit Nobody score. Nobody told me that. Yes. Mm -hmm. James, <laughs> they didn't tell should have me met either. you a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> you should have asked me the question, what are the wrong things to do? I could answer that. <laughs> James said they didn't tell so, me. <laughs> so, so you, you, um, you have to like be aware of it and then yeah. stay on top of your payments. Mm -hmm. And and you cannot, most people are not aware that you one late payment can cost you 75 points off of your is, score. That is one late payment. That is one late yeah. payment. Don't be late with that and next, girl. so you have, oh my God, and Amer American Express, don't play. Don't play. They don't play games. I love American Express. I love you guys. I love American Express, but they don't play. So all of my clients want those um, black, black cards, cards and everything else, yeah. so all my NBA players. Mm -hmm. I have like a whole team of them that um, my whole pur purpose of them is is getting them the black cards, American wow. Express black cards. Wow, yes. that's deep. Yes. Holiday shopping, uh, there's some things to keep in mind? Yes. Like what? 
<laughs> yes. I mean, so and I live like a block away from Lenox Mall, so. That's the devil. All, and yes. The devil set you up. <laughs> That's a setup. I'm in between Lenox and Phipps. So, oh, Lord. Oh my That's God. a setup for a setback. Yes. <laughs> You're doing good, James. So, but um, the, the tips is is to be aware and and not to overextend. Yeah. And, and not let those credit uh, department stores lure Ooh. you into those little um, department mm -hmm. store credit cards. 10% off and mm -hmm. they have high interest mm -hmm. rates and the APR Absolutely. is no good. Absolutely. Tell them about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, think you see did. it. I think you did. I know all about the credit. <laughs> yes. So you have to like be aware of it and, and of all of the pitfalls and yeah. make sure that mm -hmm. you stay on top of everything. And mm -hmm. the question is, do you really need it? Yes. That's what so, I have to ask myself. Yeah, and that's the question that only you can answer. Mm -hmm. So do you really need really it? Need this or thing? can you actually my advice is don't shop with the credit cards this season. Because what you spend this season, you could be paying for long my after two thousand and nineteen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And so, if you can't spend it on your debit card, don't, don't do it. Maybe you shouldn't right. spend it at all. You're right. Well, you're I have right. a, a double fold question for you. Number mm -hmm. one, if you have too many credit cards, even though you have that available credit and you don't use it, does that still raise your DTI at all? Your debt to income? So if you have too many credit cards and and you are exceeding the amount, mm -hmm. if you have too many credit cards, then that's that's. I mean, if, there's no need amount so to open credit. I, I wish I had more time it's, because we can talk about this ultra yes. this ultra FICO, but we have to get back to that because <laughs> I just think I'm gonna talk to you on the side. And to access more tips from James, you can pick up his book, Debt Free is yes. the New Rich. I'll be taking that book on his website, <laughs> CelebrityCreditGuru.com. Mm -hmm. And up next, we're going to continue our co-parenting conversation from yesterday during our full circle. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. It's going to yes. be good. Do I'm going to take that. I'm going to read that book on the plane. <laughs> I'm just going to take this with me now. Yeah,